What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the place where we talk about all things cocktails and spirits alike. As always, I'm Tommy Paul, and today we're going to be making five of my favorite classic rum cocktails for you. All right, first up we have the classic daiquiri. Now, the classic daiquiri makes a good argument for the best three-ingredient drink of all time. The only problem is it gets a bad rep because over the years it's been butchered with the wrong process and the wrong ingredients. So today we're going to be making it the right way. What you're going to need is a white rum, fresh squeezed lime juice, and simple syrup. Now it's a shaken drink, so the first thing we're going to do is start out with our tin. I'm going to pour a full two ounce measure of my white rum. I'm using Havana Club today. And that's going to be balanced out with one full ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. And I personally like to use 0.75 ounces of simple syrup. You can um, play around with the measurements to taste. I just like to do that because the rum is already sweet, so I have to try to balance, balance out this cocktail. I'm just going to give it a good shake. Once that's diluted to taste, I'm going to go ahead and fine strain it into my chilled coupe glass. Looking for a garnish, we're just going to go ahead and slap a lime wheel. There you have it, my friends, one of the simplest and easiest drinks to make of all time. Dac. So that was kind of a poetic segue into our next cocktail, which is an obvious twist on a daiquiri, the Hemingway daiquiri. What you're going to need for a Hemingway daiquiri is a white rum, Luxardo maraschino liqueur, fresh squeezed lime juice, and grapefruit juice. Now again, we're going to shake this drink and start out. This recipe calls for three ounces of white rum. 1.5 ounces of Luxardo. One full ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. Then we actually need three ounces of fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. This is gonna give it a nice sweet and sour element. All right, now that we've added all our ingredients to our tin, we're just gonna give that a shake. Once that's all mixed up, I'm gonna fine strain that into my chilled cocktail glass. Looks delicious. Same as our regular deck here, we're gonna go ahead and just garnish that. The lime wheel as well. There it is. The Hemingway deck. All right, so next up we have a dark and stormy. What you're gonna need for this is a nice dark rum, some fresh squeezed lime juice, ginger beer, and Angostura bitters. Now this is a cocktail that we can actually just go ahead and build in our glass. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pour two ounces of dark rum straight into my highball glass. Now we'll go 2.5. Now, it's not necessary, but I like to put a tiny bit of lime juice in, probably just a half ounce. Then we're going to go ahead and just dash two, three dashes of Ango straight into the, straight into the glass. Next we'll add our ice. Fill it to the brim. And lastly, just go ahead and top it off with our ginger. Finalize all these nice flavors. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a stir. Put it in the glass, spill it everywhere if possible. Like this. And I like to garnish this with just a nice wedge of lime right there. There you have it, everybody. The dark and storm.
All right, so I couldn't make a classic rum cocktail video without, of course, making a mojito. So next up, we have a mojito. I'm gonna make mine with a light rum, fresh lime juice, simple syrup, club soda, fresh mint leaves, and some fresh slices of lime. Now, first thing I'm gonna do, two full slices of lime right into my highball glass. From there, one ounce of simple syrup right into the glass. Now, give this a muddle before you do anything else. This will leave you with some really nice aromas, similar but not quite like a lime cordial. Now that we got that all muddled up, 1.5 ounces of fresh squeezed lime juice straight to my glass. Then, two full ounces of my white rum right into the glass. Looks like just enough. From there, take my mint. Now the key to great mojito is to not destroy the mint leaves. It leaves me with a bitter flavor. So I'm just gonna give it a couple spanks, throw it into my glass, sort of release some of the aromas. One more time. That's about 10 to 20 little spearmint leaves. Now I'm gonna give it a stir whilst pulling my spoon upwards to bring some of my chunkies up towards the top of the glass. Once that looks nice and consistent, I'm gonna add a couple more ice cubes, top off with club soda. Then maybe give it one more little stir. A very consistent and even spread of mint to lime in the glass will add our garnish. So, one slice of fresh lime. Last and final step, just add one nice sprig of mint straight to the glass for a garnish. So it looks beautiful. And there you have it, the mojito. All right, everybody, last but certainly not least, we have a cocktail called an airmail. It's a rum-based drink. You're also gonna need fresh squeezed lime juice, honey syrup, and some champagne. First thing I'm gonna do is just pour one ounce of uh, dark rum. We're using Bacardi 8 today. Half ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice, matched with half ounce of honey syrup, and then just give that a shake. Now, once you've got that all shaken up, we're gonna fine strain that into our chilled goblet glass. And that little bit of space we have left at the top, we're gonna top off with a nice champagne. This is another cocktail I'm gonna serve garnishless. The airmail. Have it, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Click right above to subscribe. Our entire classic cocktail video series is right here, so click right there to find that. We also got the history on all those cocktails right up here. Cheers. Damn, that's good.